try to be discreet. There you go. Yeah, an angle. Yeah, act like you have a skirt on. <laughs> I got an angle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that works. There you go. This is Jackie with In the Key of Change, and I'm here with T-Mills in Baltimore. Uh, it's a very rainy evening, and uh, you're in the middle of the All I Want to Do Tour. Oh, we're going to do it again. Really? It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Take two. This is Jackie with In the Key of Change, and I'm here with T-Mills, and we are in the middle of the All I Want to Do Tour. Uh, what's something that you want to accomplish with this tour? Um, for this tour, it was going to all the markets that I haven't been to. So like, I played a lot of Nebraska on this tour. Um, I played a bunch of cities that I've, you know, never, ever had my show at or been in a venue at. Um, and so that is what I want to come. So I want to go all these places that I haven't yet. Um, all my fans that I have there make new fans. Um, and just kind of test the waters. So that's what we've been doing um, almost every single night. I've been to Baltimore before, so um, I really love the city and the show. And on your website, uh, you've asked for fans to tweet in what they want to do. Yes. What's the most outrageous thing a fan has suggested? Oh, man. Or something that made you laugh or smile. Um, well, what I love is for... I, I don't want to give away the surprise, but for okay. the last song, we do something really cool. And so I've been seeing a lot of people tweet um, that they want to do that cool thing with us during the last song of the tour. Um, so you got to come to a show and find out. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know later. Yes. <laughs> uh, tonight's show, you did a, a VIP uh, meet and greet. Uh, what do you say to those who sort of criticize bands and artists for having fans pay for meet and greet? It's funny that you asked that. You can go on my Twitter right now because I just went on a kind of rant yesterday about why, you know, justifying my, you know, my VIP package and why I do it. And I never had the opportunity to see my favorite bands here that I do my meet and greet. Um, I'm not charging people to just say hi, you know what I mean? I do two to three meet and greets a day, and I always do um, a free one at the end of the show. So the, the VIP experience is um, it's very personal and very intimate, and I feel like I provide them with um, a lot of things. It's not just like a hello and a picture, you know what I mean? So you get exclusive merch that you can't buy. They watch the sound check. You get in the venue early at the same time as us. You don't have to leave. Like, especially days like today when it's raining outside, people are standing in the pouring rain for three or four hours. My VIPs were inside chilling in the venue, you know, got to hear a sound check, which is the most vulnerable, vulnerable, you know, that you'll ever, like, hear an artist, like, when they're setting up sound for the day. Um, and yeah, exclusive hat, poster, um, my All I Want to Do EP, you get the physical CD, um, we take pictures, you know, it's great. So yeah, and people who criticize it, um, I just feel like maybe they don't have the impact to, to have a VIP package, you know, maybe people don't care. So for that, I'm sorry, but uh, I like the I like what I do with my fans and my fans love it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing my own thing. You know? I was gonna say if they didn't if they didn't like it or they didn't want to, I do wouldn't it. be I wouldn't be doing VIPs, you know. Right. So and for everyone who doesn't get VIP, um, you know, I do a meet and greet like I said on the first day one night, and then always kids come on the bus and stuff like that. Never turn so that's why I'm like such a strong advocate for it because it's not just like a one chance. So I, I bless my ass for my fans, and, you know, I do whatever I can to do it. So it's cool. Yeah. And you mentioned today is raining. Uh, the last time uh, I saw you perform was at Skate and Surf oh, yeah. last year, which was... That was raining as well. It got rained, rained out. Well. Yeah. Then, yeah, at the end of it, it got rained out. It didn't... It, think, thankfully, I think it rained, like, right after I started performing. Yeah. yeah. How do you get fans in the mood? Like, like you mentioned, tonight is raining, crappy. Um, how do you get fans in mood, excited? I just go out there and play my songs. I think the biggest thing is how to, how I get myself amped and how I get myself in the mood. Um, and I'll probably drink some coffee and um, just go hang out inside. And, you know, just get ready for the show. I think I'm gonna need some coffee myself. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you've been touring with Madsen for quite a while. What makes uh, the two of you a good pair? Uh, well, this is actually our first tour together. Like. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, no, last no, time no, it's I all good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we we've been fortunate enough to play a lot of the same festivals and stuff just because like mutual friends and um, we've been doing this stuff together for a while. But um, this is like you know my first national headlining tour, um, and I wanted to take you know two of my good friends, so that's why I have Black Bear out here and Monson out here, um, and it's been great. You know, no egos, just everything runs smoothly. We have fun every single night. Everyone um, plays an amazing show every single night, so it's great.
any hijinks that you can actually talk about? Uh, Mon's birthday was really fun. And my birthday's in like two weeks, and I'm going to be in Texas, so there will probably be some crazy things that happen there. I can imagine. Um, where do you see the hybrid of pop and rap going? Because it, there, there is that sort of overkill hybrid of hardcore and EDM, at least yeah. in my opinion, but what about in your genre? Sure. Um, I just want to continue sure. making music that I like, you know, making music that you know, everybody makes my fans happy, and, you know. I'm just like a big dude with melodies, so as long as something sounds really good, and, you know, I'm like into clever writing and wordplay, um, I think I'll be fine. I don't ever like want to put myself in a box of like one type of music or, you know, um, Black Bear, I feel like me and him write amazing songs together, and we brought a studio on this bus for this tour, and that's what we're recording here today. Um, it's been cool to just see like all of our different influences kind of emerging and coming together. You mentioned, um, I, I read somewhere that you, you get on a lot of mixtapes. What's the advantage of that? Um, I don't, I haven't done a lot of features actually, but I have put out a bunch of free projects. I felt like the free albums, um, I put out a free album called Leaving Home, I did another one called Thrilly Man. I feel like those, um, it's just like goodies for my fans, you know what I mean? Keep fans interested and keep me fed and keep them, um, you know, ready for when I drop a EP, for when I drop my album, you know. Yeah, just gotta, I gotta give content to the people, you know. I can't help but notice that you have a, a little bit of ink. What was your first tattoo? It says stay young on my thighs. And I got them so hot right there so I can cover them with boxers and kids. Like, I was like 15 or 16. So, yeah, it's a stay on right here. Yeah. Have you ever done your own tattoo? Yep. I tattooed gnarly on my leg, and I tattooed a skeleton hand, and like three dots, and then my foot. I got three dots on my foot. I tattooed myself a couple times. How the hell? How? <laughs> uh, to me, it was a lot easier. Really? It was way easier, yeah. Um, I didn't feel it a lot when I did it. That's some serious skill. Tattooing well, yourself is some pause serious for air. skill. That was some real skill there, Eric. <laughs> um, you don't flinch? You, don't, you have a high tolerance for pain? I guess. As I get older, I feel like my pain tolerance goes down. I have less, and more, uh, less pain tolerance. Oh, but it was way easier to get tattooed when I was younger. When I was like 17, yeah. Do you have an artist that you go to? Like I, I, don't, I have a couple. I, got, I have a couple. I only get tattooed on three or four or five people. I'd like to like travel and get tattooed. Who's your go-to artist right now? Um, this dude, Lennon Reese. Um, he's in California. This dude, Jacob Don. He's done a lot of my tattoos. John Montgomery. Um, um, Jared. Romeo. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, love, I love that. The uh, last season of Fasting. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was, he was definitely on that. One of these days, a big piece. Still, of yeah. course, until then. Um, our website merges music with the causes and charities that fans support. Are there any causes that are important to you? Um, I do a annual toy drive, like we do a Christmas benefit show every year, and so we donate. We donated four huge, um, like recycling bins full of toys to the battered um, women and children shelter in Riverside, California, Mountain Town, and I do that every single year. We did this is the second annual year that we did it um, this Christmas. So I'm gonna be doing another one this year, yeah. Yeah, no pressure. No, yeah. <laughs> no it'll be the third year in 2014. So nice. yeah. So what's up next after this tour? Uh, a lot of music. I have a big remix for all I want to do that we're gonna be putting out. I have the official video. It's gonna come out. Um, I'm gonna go back to LA. I'm gonna record, um, finish my album for like a month or two, and then I'm gonna go on a tour again this summer. So a lot of shows, um, a lot of songs. I got the videos and a really dope, huge remix um, that I'm really excited about. Excellent. Well, can't wait to see what happens later on today. Thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned for more from T-Mills. This is Jackie. Thanks to Heart and One Industries, Tattooing TV. This is Jackie for In the Key of Change. Thanks.